This week, Dad builds a barn door for the pantry. Garen and Ellie continue their aquaponics build. Bryson converts an aviator headset to a gaming one. And we show more of our Old West trip. Hey! What do you got? Well, Garen and I worked on this. This is the track for the barn doors that we're putting in the kitchen for the pantry. This is the brackets. Ah. Made four of them. Fancy. Fancy. To be painted up and installed. Wow. This is laying flat. If this was standing up straight, it'd fit in like this. And this is the woods for the door. Excellent, honey. How fun! It's windy. I'm going in. Go in, baby. Time to get these tanks out of the cages and paint them. They're all sanded up from last week. It's kind of windy and cold today, so we're going in the shed. Azalea is already waiting on us. <laughs> I guess we should put a tarp underneath this, huh? Or do you not feel? I mean, I don't speak, but I can't speak for you. I speak. Color, huh? Yeah. It's not pink at all. <laughs> not yet. Wait till it dries. <laughs> Relaxing in the sun with baby girl. Hmm? Look at this. The first paint spot on her cheek. Got there all on its own. <laughs> <laughs> We got everything painted. Now it's time to put the tanks back in the cages and start setting them up. Those look so cool. Yeah, they do look pretty good. One more. I picked up a pair of these really cool aviator headset for a helicopter and planes and stuff like that. So I wanted to hook them up to my computer. The plug on it is an old, I believe they call it a helicopter jack. And I want to switch it out with a, a TRRS connector. This one's nice because it can be easily adapted to PCs and laptops and stuff. You can just plug it directly in. I think I've come up with the proper diagram. Here's how the headphones sit right now. The left and right ear are currently wired as mono, as in both as one. Problem with that is, if like we're playing a video game that's in stereo and sound happens over here, we want to be able to hear it more in the left speaker than we do the right. So they need to be separate. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to do this. The concept is all your minuses go together, just like that produce one chord, which is of course your minus chord. And then your pluses come out here. Now, if we play music through if this side, it will just play the right ear here. And if we play music through the left side, it will just play the left side. And of course now when we run our mic, this will listen for the mic. What's this wood for, Dan? This wood's for the door. So I have a door to put together. And in here, ooh, is that the bracket or one yeah. side of the bracket? This is the bracket. It goes up on the wall. I 
Now, Leah was the one that gave us this laser. Thank you, Leah. Oh, yeah, right here. oh, let me see. Sure enough. Karen and Dad made a brilliant system, absolutely genius. And this one goes right up here, and it just rolls along that track right there. It just rolls right across there just like that. And it also stops too, because there's an end there. Off to dig a hole. What's this hole for? It's fun. Oh, you just dig it for fun. <laughs> yeah. I just felt like I'm out and digging a hole today. Nice. This hole for the sump tank so it's the lowest point of the whole aquaponic system and i'm just trying to lower it even further that way it's all drains right the hole is dug not too bad the ground was pretty soft just a lot of dirt to move but our tank should fit right down that hole and we'll have probably duckweed pond and then fish pond at the end While in Oatman, Arizona, we had a few more discoveries that we made. One of those was a really cool hotel. All that's left of it is a couple of walls, but the history of that hotel is very interesting. It goes all the way back to 1902. There was a man by the name of Ben Taddock who discovered gold. People started to come in, and then the hotel that we talked about last mm -hmm. week, that had Odie in there. Yeah, it had eight rooms. It was the first one. And then in 1915, there was a mining company that they struck gold, and by then, people are really pouring into the town. And in 1915, they built a hotel. The ruins of the hotel we're looking now, at. This ritzy one had 45 rooms. They had running water in the hotel, which was very unusual for mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. And in 1921, there's a fire that rips down from the north side of town. This hotel is sitting on the south side. It wipes out a lot of businesses, but this hotel makes it through. It survives. It was called the Great Fire of 1921. So the ritzy place still stood. Dun, dun, dun. This is apparently a cellar that used to be a hotel that was here. Oh, no. oh, a root cellar. Oh, it's a root cellar. So it'd be like their fridge, right? In the old days. Oh. A place to store potatoes and oh, stuff. Oh, jeez. Right? Oh, it's just like a mine, isn't it? Wow. I feel like whipping out my phone oh, so I, I can <laughs> see. Anyone else? Me too. Here it goes. Hey, look at that. All right there. Right on. Did you see it's so dusty? Yeah, I yeah, smell it's so much dust dusty. in here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, is it end here? Yeah. yeah, it ends right here. It's a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, it's a light. Oh, I thought you meant it was from outside. Oh, no, it's, it's a actually a light. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a light at the end of the tunnel. Ooh. In 1924, the mining company closed down. They had mined about $13.5 million. Which is worth way more than today's <laughs> money. <laughs> but luckily, in 1926, Route 66 was built. Mm -hmm. And so that brought in tourism and kept the town alive. These are all walls from the hotel, Brie? Is that what this is? I think so. It said that World War I was partially funded by the gold that was mined out of here. Uh, the mines were needed, so they had to close them because copper was needed for World War II. And this is gold out of these hills. Then they ended up shutting stuff down. In 1953, the bypass is built for Route 66. Tourism has dried up. Obviously, the gold rush is gone. They ended up tearing this hotel down because they didn't want to pay the property tax on it. Tourism, of course, did eventually pick up again. Laughlin gets built. Right. Don Laughlin came in and he built casinos, brought in a lot of people. And Oatman is not far from Laughlin, so people would come over to tour Oatman. I think Route 66 also is a pull for tourism, not only for us as Americans. We've got a lot of history. It's kind of fun to drive that road. Eventually, I want to do it, I know. But also, people all over the world like to come and tour Route 66. And of course, Oatman is definitely a big stop along that route. Route 66 has gotten more traction now. It's all come back around. <laughs> yeah. We're getting ready to put the two by eights together and make the first door for the sliding barn door. I had to take off the rounded edges on these two by eights so that we could get more of a flat surface. 
and then I'm getting ready to kind of sand them down a little bit. Not too much, but just enough to take off a bit of the edge, kind of flatten them out. Now we're down to kind of putting a little bit of a sand. So you uh, do that and then you put them, glue them together? Then I glue them together. I do have to do some pocket holes for screws so okay. that we can screw them together too. So I want to, I want to both glue and screw these both together. So. And then you let them set to dry. Then I let them set. As we have mentioned before in our last jaunt out into the wilderness, whenever we see water, it's pretty exciting. Colorado River, guys. Yeah, Colorado so River. Now, that's the Arizona side, right? Yeah, this Sorry. is the Nevada side. That's the Arizona side. If you didn't know, the Colorado River separates the two states. If they ever get into a war, there'll be people on this side and people on that side. And then Coloradians. <laughs> and swim cannonballs in the going back and forth. Is that how that would <laughs> yeah, go? cannonballs. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking Arizona is uh, going to need to up their game. <laughs> I don't see anyone over there. I think it's so pretty. Oh, and that's done like a heart. Yeah, if right, it's a yoke. Oh, right, that's a yoke. It's both for oxen. Man, look at these ducks. They're not even moving. They're sure trying to. I don't think they're doing it right. They yeah, they have to, have to fly. Like oh, that. oh, that's the oh. right way to do it. Oh, that duck's got the right way. Oh, they're trying to get in front. Cheaters. Oh, I see all the fish are right there, so they move to the top. And oh, they yeah, yeah, back, yeah. And they yeah. move back to the top. That's a piece of big old so pumice you, right there. Do you think it's light enough to put in a toilet bowl with? You know how you pumice stone your toilet? You tear up your hands. Kind of all right, let's get the car. Let's load it in. <laughs> <laughs> what can we make out of this, guys? Oh, well, I would crush it up and put it in the aquaponics system. Go to where the sidewalk in. Did you learn something new every day? Although I already know the ending because it ends, so right? It's right here. This is where boring ends and the excitement starts, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> I guess whatever casino that is up there, it didn't get in all, all the fun, you know what I mean? Probably the workers stopped here and were like, Ugh. Maybe it's built into the side of the mountain. They got secret passageways to it. It like opens up somewhere around here yeah, so they can get to like... us. <laughs> 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 On our way back now. So guys, I don't know, are we out of breath? We're we gonna make it? It's uh, <laughs> We've talked all this way. The end of the walk. We are not heading back. Wish us good luck. Water. Water. Uh, one more thing I want to say real quick, very important. Plus and minus are important with some mics. On the old setup here, the microphone, there's a name for it I'm sure, it's essentially just another speaker used as a mic. I, I didn't want to use this mic, um, so I went with a capacitor type microphone, uh, which does have a plus and a minus, and it's important to get those right. Oh, and don't forget also here with this microphone right here, I want to add a mute switch. The connector I'm trying to wire to is called a TRRS connector. A headphone and mic put in one little small jack. So how we would wire this up to your headphones, your left side is here, your right side of your earphone is here, and by the way these are, this is your plus, this is your plus. Now your ground, I'll do in a second, and this is your mic, but most importantly, Plus. Now this here is the ground for your mic, your right ear, and your left ear. And those are all, all grounds there. Let's go test it and see if it actually works before I put a final, you know, shrink wrap on there. Make Oh, my little, uh, my little homestead podcast, Bryson. 
<laughs> oh, oh, there's our most recent right there. This one? Yeah. Every Monday, my little podcast. Perfect for audio testing your headset. Nice. <laughs> can you imagine playing Fortnite on that? I know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> so then I can unmute myself, and now you can see it's working! Cool! Now, what do you think, Gare? Well, let's see how it does. The other side's the important side. This is just the back, but it uh, looks good. A lot of work. Some little pocket holes in there. Now, there was a reason you used this wood. When you worked on Bryson's door, you had the tongue and groove, but you yeah. didn't use that this time. No, I was looking to get less grooves, a flatter surface, more uniform that uh, Brie could experiment on with her ideas, so. Yes, a future art project on yeah. this. And yeah, it makes sense. So this was pretty fun putting this together. Yeah, it was. It was really fun. We're going to be taking off the clamps and seeing what our door looks like so far. Looking totally awesome, Gar. Yeah, that's gonna work, I think. Beautiful. We now have the door sanded down probably well enough that we can go ahead and start laying out where the cutout's gonna be for the design that's going in the door itself. Nice, smooth. That you were looking for? Well, smooth enough, I think. It is two by eights and they are first, but it's gonna work really well for this kind of a door. It's heavy, too. That's it for this week, and then we'll start working on design next week. Okay, and this will trim too, right? You got kind of a raggedy yep. edge. I'm gonna cut the edges, tops and bottoms, to fit the door. So you've got one more to do? One more to do, and that side's gonna be very similar. It's a little smaller. Bree has a design for that one also. Okay, so Bree's gonna start next week on the art, and you're gonna finish the next door, huh? Yep. All right. We got all the tanks in their cages, so now I'm gonna get started putting them on the stumps that we have out there, getting them leveled. That way when the water sits in them, it looks semi-good. Let's see how well my layout is. It turned out to be really level, which is awesome. And I think I'll strap on the corners, that way it doesn't slide. I am making little tiny straps to screw the throw beds to the poles I have out there. I just grabbed one of these face plates. I'm just gonna cut all the little strips. <laughs> yep, 25 of them. We need 24, so one extra. That'll be good. Nice. everything level across the top. We've been wanting to garden for a while now, growing our own veggies and stuff, and especially once we had this little kiddo and wanted to have that experience for her, plus for health reasons, and it's just good to have your own grown vegetables, I think. Because of our well situation, where it's not really producing very well, Bryson was showing us his aquaponic system and telling us how little water it took to do. We really fell in love with it, and it's just such an interesting and cool way to grow food and fish at the same time. I'm very excited about the maintaining process of it too. Yeah, it's a little more unique than just in the soil, which is fun too, but done a lot of that, so it's kind of fun to try a different way and mm -hmm. see how things grow that way and stuff. All the tanks are where they're gonna sit now. Only thing left to do is gonna be plumbing. I really love the way it turned out. It looks yeah. so good with the red paint and everything. Isaiah can go out there and catch us a fish for dinner. <laughs> Sounds good. 
wraps up this week. We took the time to number all of the weekly peaks and combine them into a playlist. So if you'd like to go on a little binge watch back into the past of our weekly peak videos, the link to that playlist will be down in the description. Or you can easily access that on our channel page. We are going to be adding some exclusive content to our Patreon page in the coming weeks. So if you'd like to support us on Patreon, a one, two dollars a month, we would really appreciate that. And of course, thank you so much to all of our existing and current patrons who are supporting us financially. We really appreciate it. The t-shirt design of the week is Route 66. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, apron, handbag, all kinds of fun products, as well as all of the past designs that we've done, you can check out the link down in the description. We really appreciate you being a part of our family and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for our podcast. Bye! Like home. Oh my gosh, it is. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> See the skunk? Oh yeah. Oh, he's yeah. gonna go oh. up and over. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He was waiting for you. There he's gonna go up and over. So the they cat. are around. That's where you find him. Puppies They're with you. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. <laughs> We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. So, we got talked into buying a piece of wood <laughs> with our name on it. Yeah, we don't want to bug him either, because he's in there working. So we're just waiting for him to get done with it, and we'll see what it looks like. So.